thanks for stopping in this is video 106 and I'm using a pretty popular topic which is that of a strength template to demonstrate what you might do if you wanted to create a real instant random workout generator now CrossFit does this kind of concept quite quite nicely they simply have it's not completely random but they have random generators that pump out different workouts so that every day is a little bit different to the previous one um, when you're training athletes you don't want to have that randomness but nevertheless this is an interesting concept that you might use with regard to um, particularly core exercises or something like that where you just want to mix things up a bit I'm going to use three different tricks here so I'm just going to dive into those and if you are already pretty skilled you might want to click um, in the description and jump ahead to the beginning of the main tutorial but on the next sheet called lessons I'm just going to talk through the three things you need to know before we can build this out first one is data validation data validation has many forms but um, the one that I'm interested in is really the creation of a drop down box so in this cell here this is cell C3 click on the data tab choose data validation and again data validation and it gives me a little uh, wizard box the thing that I'm interested in is list and by clicking this arrow in the source box I now have to select the cells that I want to be in the drop down box and that's it really I can now choose from that drop down box if you're not uh, familiar with these things and you want to create your own strength template then that's really the first thing you need to go away and look at uh, go onto YouTube you'll see um, a thousand different tutorials there to teach you how to do data validation uh, including a couple of mine and um, you'll be better off for doing so the next item is the index function now index is a great lookup tool um, I remember the first one I learned was VLOOKUP but once I learned how to do index particularly with um, uh, conjunction with other formulas such as MATCH I was able to accomplish a whole lot more so the index function allows you to extract an item from a list based upon a particular value and so um, I've typed out as text the formula that I'm about to execute so you can see it in case it's hard to keep up so if I type equals index ex expecting me to say well, what am I looking up I'm looking up my list of months the next part of the formula asks me what item I want to extract and it's expecting a number here so if I type in three it's going to tell me the third item which is March better than typing three is to refer to a cell and so I've got a cell number here and 12 is December if I change it to 7 or 2 or 10 the index function extracts what I'm looking for now on its own it's already pretty helpful but instead of referring to cell B6 what you can do is use another formula to identify which item gets extracted so I'm going to do that in a second but first I just want to show you the RAND between formula the RAND between formula does as it says it gives you a random number between the first variable and the second variable that you put in the brackets now I could do anything I like here for example RAND between 1 and 200 and it's going to just keep giving me random numbers so I'm hitting the F9 key here and that number is just flicking about giving us all sorts of values if I pull this up and instead make it ran between 1 to 12 it's giving us a random number between 1 and 12 And if I then use the index function it's given me a random month and 
and that's where it really gets interesting. So that's what we'll use in a second. Um, just very, very quickly, I'll show you um, examples of how I use RAM between to create data sets. So let's say an athlete has a typical body weight between 80 kilograms and 82 kilograms. RAM between only does whole numbers, and that's not particularly helpful because normally you'd have people with uh, decimals. So I'm just going to be clever here and generate some random body weight data. Like so. Now that's not super helpful, but if I divide it by 10, it'll give us exactly what we're looking for. So we've got a whole bunch of random body weights across a couple of weeks for an athlete, and we could see uh, what a chart or report might look like by using this data as our model. Now 5 meter speed is similarly able to be modeled using this ram between function. Let's say you've got numbers between 0.95 of a second and 1.1 seconds. If I divide that by 100, again that gives us indicative speed data. If we use number format across the board, it's giving us, for example, a group of athletes. And similarly, squat 1RM. If we say we've got athletes who can squat a decent amount of weight, let's say 120 kilograms up to 180 kilograms, we could use um, the random generator to tell us what they might lift. And rather than just giving us um, numbers such as 137 kilograms, it would do it in 2.5 kg increments. Like so. So 48, 72. So that 2.5 increment there is what's standard in most gyms. And now we've got all of our squat 1RMs that look like real weights and are practical and useful for us to use. So the other three tricks we're going to use, let's go to our sheet and work through it. I've used two different scenarios. In the warm-up, I've used an entire set of a warm-up. And so across here on the right, I've got, I believe, 10 different warm-up sets written out. And so that's one option you could choose an entire set where you've taken a bit of care to make sure there's enough balance, enough upper body, lower body, full body type warm-up exercises. And here's our config area up the top. It's simply doing a RAN between 1 and 10. And if we get our number, 5, it is going to pull through the fifth warm-up set. Our formula uses index to extract out column number five from this table here on the right. And that same formula all the way down just takes the second row, the third row, the fourth row, the fifth row, and the sixth row from that particular column. For the main session, I took a different tack. I have got five columns of exercises and all the formula is doing is picking one of each. So one from column G, one from column H, one from column I, J, and K. The RAN between function is looking up these values at the top because there are nine lower body key lifts, 10 upper body key lifts, and so on that I've put in there. You can put as many as you like. Um, I created a bit of a box, which is where the formula um, allows you to go to. And simply up here it's saying, give me a random number between one and in this case, 9. The value is 5. And so it is taking the fifth, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, deadlift from the key lift lower body. And for the key lift upper body, it's taking number 3. But if I hit F9, all those ran between functions recalculate. They're called volatile functions, and they recalculate all the time. Pretty much any time you hit enter or do something, uh, it will recalculate. And that can be quite um, difficult when you're not expecting it to be recalculating. 
but it can be quite useful for things such as this. Uh, for no real reason, I also um, just added in a couple of other things. I talked about data validation before. Let's say you've got um, a desire to have a relatively low volume session. We can see um, the sum is only 13 main session sets. If you change that to medium volume, it goes to 16. High volume it goes to 21. So I just made those numbers up. Don't get uh, upset if that's not what you consider high volume. It's really just the concept. And down here is a, a formula I haven't used in the lesson, but it's just a, um, an if function that says, if you choose high volume, I want five sets. If you choose medium, I want four. If you choose low, I want three. If there's nothing chosen, I want nothing, like so. So that's what that formula tells us. I'm just going to leave it on medium volume. And on reps, I've just got um, some ridiculously simple um, rep structures. If you've seen some of my other videos, you'll see that you could create a bit of a lookup table and put things such as 654 for your reps and sets and, and uh, have it set up that way. But um, really the concept was something that I was talking to a friend of mine with regard to CrossFit and I thought it might be interesting for you strength heads out there to think about how you might be able to use ran between to create random workouts or even random parts of workouts for your athletes. Thanks for listening. Look forward to putting another video out soon.